What is up guys? So, uh, in the previous video, we pretty much finished uh, the GUI. Um, and in this video, uh, we're going to implement the functionality of the calculator. Um, but before we move on, there's some minor changes uh, that I'm going to make to the user interface. And that is to replace all of these border widths equal to 1 to border width equal to 0 and add border width equal to 0 uh, for the entry widget as well. So this is going to make the calculator look quite a bit flatter and neater in my opinion. So I'm just going to do that quickly. So border width equals to 0 for the entry and uh, replace all border width equals to 1 on the buttons with border width equals to 0. And if we launch that, you can see the calculator uh, looks quite a bit better in my opinion. So now uh, we're going to implement uh, the functionality of the calculator. And how does this work? Well, uh, we have a lot of buttons on the calculator. And uh, every time when the user presses a button, um, whatever that character, uh, the button's character is going to be displayed onto the entry. Um, now, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, whatever is in the entry and then use Python's eval function to evaluate the expression. So for each of these buttons, we're going to have to create a command that is going to uh, uh, add um, a, uh, a character to the entry. So we're going to create a um, function called append to display. Now in this function, we have two cases to evaluate. Uh, the first case is if um, what's in the entry is zero. That means uh, the entry has the default text in there. And therefore, we're going to uh, delete everything that's in the entry and replace it with this character. Because uh, if we start out with zero and we press nine, uh, we're not going to say nine zero or zero nine. We're simply just going to say nine. So we have to write those two cases. So self.entry text equals to self.display.get. So what this does is it gets uh, all the text from the entry. And uh, we're going to have to get the length of the text. And I'll explain why we need this later. So self.text length equals to uh, len of self.entry text. Now if uh, the self.entry text is zero, then we're simply going to replace uh, whatever is in that entry with the character of the button that the user has pressed. So we're going to write another function called replace text. So I'm just going to say self dot replace text for now, but we're about to write that function. So self dot replace text um, text. And by the way, I should note that uh, this function append to display. It's going to take in a parameter called text or uh, the button's character. So self to replace text and if uh, the entry is not zero. So what does this mean? Well, if the user has already begun typing like 99999, then of course we're not going to replace everything in there. We're going to add on uh, to that display. So self.display.insert self.text length text. So insert takes in two parameters. Uh, first off, uh, the index of where you want to insert it. So we want to insert it at the end. So therefore, that's why we retrieved uh, the length of the text inside the entry widget. And we're going to simply append that to the entry. So there you go. Um, what we're going to do now is uh, write the replace text function. And all this is is simply two lines. So replace text, self text. And in here, uh, self dot display dot delete uh, zero end and self dot display dot insert zero text all right so um, we have uh, the append to display fun function finished the next step uh, of course is to bind this function uh, to the button and in order to do that uh, we're gonna have to specify a command so command equals to lambda um, self dot append to display uh, whatever the text is so seven in this case and uh, what you really do is the same for all of the buttons so 
just copy that and paste it for all of the buttons now obviously we have to replace uh, the text parameter uh, with the appropriate character. So seven, eight, nine times. And clear, uh, we're gonna have another different function for that. So I'm gonna remove that for now. Um, four, obviously change that to four. Four, five, uh, six, um, uh, divide and percentage. Uh, and for here, um, one, two, uh, three, minus, and equals, uh, we're gonna have a special function for that too. So I'm gonna remove this for now. Now for zero, um, we simply append zero to the display. Uh, for dot button, uh, we're simply gonna append dot. Uh, and for the plus button, we're simply gonna append plus. So uh, we should have all of these buttons uh, properly linked up to the append to display function. So let's test that out. So seven, uh, eight, nine times divided by percentage minus plus minus zero, three, two, one, four, five, six, nine. All right, so it looks like it's functioning properly. Uh, and I think um, eight, uh, this is supposed to be nine, right? So let's test that out again. Seven, eight, nine times four, five, six, divide percentage one, two, three, minus uh, zero uh, dot plus. All right, so all of that is working uh, properly. Now, the next step is to uh, create the clear function. Uh, what this does is it obviously uh, clears all of, the, uh, all of the text inside the entry widget. So um, this is very simple. So uh, the function is simply clear text and we don't need to have any parameters, it's just self, uh, which all Python functions, of course, have in a class. And inside clear text, uh, we're going to say self.replace text um, zero. So we're gonna re, uh, so we're just pretty much gonna replace, replace uh, the entries text with the default text, which is zero. So uh, we're gonna bind that to uh, this button. So command equals to lambda self dot append to display oh sorry not append to display uh, self dot uh, clear text now if we launch this and we uh, type some expression into uh, the calculator so eight nine 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 and we clear it it's gonna uh, clear everything uh, back to the default text which is zero so that's all working uh, properly. Uh, the final step is um, to calculate, uh, to uh, write up um, how we're going to take in whatever the user inputs and uh, output uh, the result, the desired result to the entry widget. So first off, I'm just gonna check that I've uh, correctly assigned all of the append to display functions to the buttons. Um, and it looks all of the, uh, like all of them are properly assigned. So in here, uh, I'm gonna say define calculate uh, expression. So this is simply just gonna take in self because we can get the text uh, by saying self.display.get. So self.expression equals to self.display.get. Uh, now we have the expression now. Uh, all we have to do is evaluate it. And Python has a very simple function uh, that pretty much evaluates uh, any string that you parse in into a as a mathematical expression. So uh, self dot result equals to eval self dot expression. Now uh, eval is actually uh, pretty insecure. So um, if you're doing anything that is like uh, really complicated, you're not going to want to use eval. But that's already totally uh, beyond the purposes of this basic calculator, and it's totally fine. Uh, to use eval. Uh, just note that this actually has uh, impractical 
um, development applications a huge security flaw because you could theoretically uh, launch Python code and it could do a lot of bad stuff but that's already beyond the point of what we're doing uh, for here so self.result equals to eval self.expression and before uh, I'm gonna output that to the entry widget I'm just gonna print it out just to make sure that it calculates it correctly so print uh, self.result and obviously we have to bind that expression sorry not that expression that bind that function uh, to the equals button so command equals to lambda uh, self dot um, calculate expression and if we launch that and we input an expression so 8 times 9 it's going to correctly display the result which is 72 however there's a, there's a caveat so if we say something like 9 percentage uh, it's gonna pop out an error saying uh, unexpected EOF while parsing uh, this is because uh, eval doesn't understand percentage um, so in fact if we say something like 9 percentage 3 Um, it's going to output as, it as zero. Why? Because uh, in programming, uh, what the percentage uh, symbol means in Python is the modulus operator. So if I uh, input it something like nine uh, modulus three, it's going to say, okay, nine divided by three. Well, what's the remainder of that? It's zero. That's why it outputted zero. So if I just say nine percent, uh, nine modulus of what? So that's why it's going to throw an error saying unexpected EOF while parsing. So we have to replace all of the percentages in the expression uh, with time 0 0.01 or divided by 100. So in here we're going to say self dot expression uh, dot re, uh, replace. We're going to replace all the percentages uh, with um, divided by 100. Um, divided by 100 yeah so uh, if we launch this um, let's see so 9% mm -hmm. oh uh, that's because we have to say self dot expression equals to self dot expression dot replace percentage divided by 100 so if we launch this 9% equals to 0 0.09 so 9% times 3 equals to 0 0.27 and yada 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 so it works like that so uh, before uh, we finish this entire calculator application uh, we need to check for false input so if for example if the user uh, inputs something bogus like 9 divided by 9 divided by divided by divided by that's obviously an invalid expression and if we evaluate it it's gonna crash unexpected EOF while parsing so we're going to have to uh, create a try uh, catch I think it's try accept in Python yeah try accept so we're going to try so we're gonna try to evaluate that expression and if we catch anything then we're gonna pop up a message box uh, saying um, error invalid input or something of that nature so error uh, invalid input so if we launch this uh, TK inner is not defined um, is it just message box then Oh, that's right we have to say dot show info so if we launch this um, and we input something bogus like 9 divided by divided by divided by it's gonna pop an air uh, pop up a message boxing error invalid input and I'm just gonna oh whoa application object has no attribute result okay sure so we can remove this print statement also so now what we're gonna do is just uh, test this out by inputting a lot of expressions so uh, 9 times 6.35 uh, 
All right, that's that's right. We haven't uh, replaced uh, the text of the entry widget with our result. So um, self dot uh, replace text self dot result. So let's try that. So nine times eight equals to seventy two times six equals to four hundred thirty two divided by six equals to seventy two uh, minus three equals to sixty nine plus three point six divided by six uh, equals to sixty nine point six. So yeah. So and if we uh, place the percentage, it's going to divide that by a hundred times three. All right. So you get so you get the idea. So uh, all of this works properly. And if we if the user puts something invalid like nine divided by divided by, it's going to pop up uh, a master boxing error invalid input. So that's it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one.